Hello everyone, RaptorX here. As you can see, I'm back in to be ready for another episode. And uh, today I've actually done a bit of prep work for the episode. Um, haven't done many changes as far as uh, what I usually do, which I move a lot of things around and have to spend like half the episode going over them. Uh, however, I did move a few things around over here, as you guys can tell. Uh, what I've done is pretty much hooked up uh, my accuracy accumulator to the Ignis extruder and hooked up the lava source back into the Ignis extruder over here, if you guys can tell from behind here. Uh, yeah, so pretty much it's, it's looping around. It's uh, it's feeding the English extruder is feeding the crucibles with you know cobble, making lava, going back into the tank, and then feeding back the English extruder. Now that way I can easily switch it between uh, cobble and obsidian whenever I need some, and uh, that is kind of convenient. Uh, now the reason I moved it over here is because I need access to the English extruder uh, in today's episode. Uh, now something I realized after the last one. Uh, the last episode was that I was really complicating myself with this whole system and this is broken and I have to disable that uh, this pick actually has worked all right uh, for the most part uh, but it does require two other my at least to get it to what 70 80 percent uh, durability again so I thought it was only one uh, I don't know maybe it got nerfed uh, or I just don't remember properly from back when I used to repair these guys um, now, another no thing I noticed is that it's good for breaking cobble, but if you want to get gravel and uh, sand, uh, it's not very fast at all. Uh, so that's the reason why I made this guy, the shovel. Um, it is already, well, it already has the, the first uh, modifier, which is the, the smashing one, which is nice. And it also has the haste uh, modifier that it got, you know, by default. Uh, now, the way I got this guy to have a modifier was I got this little setup going, which I'm, I should probably disassemble now, but I just kind of wanted to explain what I did here. Uh, I have this autonomous activator just right clicking dirt into, you know, in front of it. And then this one, I would have my uh, shovel in there and uh, just, you know, let it dig up the dirt back and forth you know just continuously pretty much it used up a lot of durability of it but it leveled up my shovel so that's one way if you guys are interested in you know getting modifiers in your tools since you can't really add modifiers um uh, at least i don't believe you can unless you put like diamonds and nether stars or something i don't know uh the tinker's construct version that's in this mod pack it's kind of weird um but yeah i don't know it's just a, a nice little workaround if you guys are wondering how to do it and then Dang it. Alright, well, let me just disassemble this guy because I don't need it. I'm actually going to need the autonomous activators for a few other things. So I'm just going to take that and then break this. Cool. And, uh, yeah, let me just break this guy. Cool. Now, uh, as you guys can tell, I removed all my uh, sieving automation from here. And that's what I'm going to try to move over here. Uh, now, what I was trying to get to before uh, is that... I was overcomplicating myself with the uh, cobble gen upstairs, trying to get uh, gravel. Now, the best possible way to uh, do this is with a pulverizer, because I realized that a pulverizer will actually give you gravel and sand. I actually disabled NEI there for a second. It was kind of in my way before. Uh, so, if you look at gravel, a way to get gravel uh, through NEI, let me just look it up. Right, with a pulverizer. You just put any type of cobblestone, uh, so you can, I can just hook it up to the uh, index extruder, get some cobble in there, and you can get uh, obviously get gravel and a chance of getting sand. Uh, now, it's nice that you get sand, but the fact that you get gravel directly without having to use a hammer is a huge advantage, especially since I can use lava to power the the the, the, the thing in my job, the pulverizer, and then I wouldn't have any issues at all. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna try to set up today. Get a, a better system for getting uh, ores and stuff. And then I'll, obviously if I move it over here, it will be nicer because I'll get closer to the to the smeltery. So that's what pretty much I have planned for today. Now, uh, first I'm gonna have to make myself a pulverizer, which I could have probably done before the episode, but uh, it shouldn't take very long because I should have all my uh, Resources already nice and processed. Pulverizer. There it is. Uh, I'll need some flint, which I have a crap ton of flint for some reason. I'm going to have to figure out something else to use. Uh, all right, I'm going to need copper. Uh, this is the gold one. Machine frame. Can I use aluminum? Okay. I'm going to try to use as many uh, things with aluminum as possible. So I'm going to get a bunch of glass. I should have a decent amount of glass. Um, not doing very hot in redstone again, so I'm gonna have to try to. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna. That's gonna be an objective today. Automate the whole gravel thing, and then actually set up a way to get more um, 
sand. Now, can I use a pulverizer to get sand as well? Because that, that way I would just set up two pulverizers. And that might just be a solution here. Um, gravel. Okay, you can put gravel straight into a pulverizer and you get sand directly. And then... Wait, hold on. Let me just go back. Oh, you can get dust. Okay, so there's no need absolutely for hammers anymore, which is really nice. That way I can stop spending my resources on that. Should have probably done that earlier. But uh, I completely forgot about using actual actual tech stuff instead of uh, the new mods that are installed here. Uh, right, so back to the pulverizer. I'm going to have to figure something out. Maybe the, a distribution system so it kind of spreads evenly the gravel between the two. I don't know. I have to... F well, you know what? I guess I could sieve the gravel. Well, you know, I'll just I'll just think of it later. Uh, I wouldn't need two pulverizers, though. Uh, I'm going to need two of these guys. Some of this. I'm going to need some gold as well. And switch it up to this one. Alright, so I'm going to get a few of these. I'm going to get, like, f six. Just because I'm sure I'm going to need it for something else eventually later down the line. Um, it doesn't use any redstone, so I should be alright. I'm going to use two of these. So I do want to make two of these pulverizers. Uh, some flint and pistons. I should probably make a couple extra pistons, but I don't want to use too many. Um, because of the whole redstone ordeal going on right now. Um, right. I need this guy. Why not? Oh, I, need, I need wood. I have a bit of wood. I don't have much. Should be enough. I can use aluminum as well here, so I use two. Just exactly what I need. And then I believe I can have nope, still can't. What's going on? Oh copper, right. Alright, so I got two pulverizers ready to go. Now I should probably figure out a way to actually power these guys. So I'm gonna need some magmatic engines. Uh magmatic dynamo. I need some invor. Invor gears and silver all right so let's just get i do have some indoor already nicely cooked up i'm gonna need some iron as well and some silver sure no nope, not that one this one um should i make two magmatic i'm gonna make two magmatic dynamos straight off the bat um i don't know if it's gonna be overkill or not but uh oops i don't know what's going on here two of these and uh, I need to clear this when I do that. And uh, that's it, I believe. Yep, two magmatic dynamos. Cool. Uh, what about some conduits? Um, these I'll put, I believe, 80 at RF per tick unless it got changed. And then the redstone ones should serve me. Oh, I barely have enough. I have only 10 redstone left. Uh, what am I missing, however? I'm missing lead. Yeah, I'm missing some lead. Uh, should have plenty of that stuff. Alrighty. So, yeah, I'm completely out of redstone. Oh, no, I got four more redstone left. And this, uh, those pigs downstairs are making quite a wrecking. Uh, I do have a bunch of pigs and sheep now. I still only have one cow. Uh, which I completely forgot last episode to make the spawn egg. Could probably do it today. But I want to focus on this right now. So, uh, what's the best way to do this? Um... I can make it output right into the pulverizer, actually. But the thing is, I want to be able to power this one. Transfers eighty. Uh, I'll kind of upgrade it to hardened ones. Transfer. You know what? I'm just gonna set up one magmatic dynamo. I think. I'm pretty sure one should be more than enough for two pulverizers. Um, so I'm going to do that. And where's my wrench? There it is. Nope, no, that's not it. Hmm. It wasn't getting any lava, so I'm assuming that it's not playing nice. Hmm, do I really want to put it down there? I don't think I want to put it down there because it, then if I have to remove it, I can lose the magmatic dynamo. Uh, so, 
I'm just gonna do that instead. All right, so this is not actually receiving any lava, so I'm gonna need some fluid ducts to power this guy. But the first redstone, I mean pulverizer, can go in there, and that should be receiving. Hmm, now I don't have access to my. Oh, where's it sending all this? Okay, it is sending it here. Cool. Uh, I need to output out the left. I mean, right side. Uh, I just need to get myself some fluid duct so I can get the magmatic dynamo going. Uh, should have some already in here. Cool. Do I have any levers lying around? I sure do. My inventory is getting kind of full, so I'm just gonna put a few things away here. Uh, actually, I should probably put this in here. And uh, put all this stuff away. Nope, not torches. And that should be it for now. That should be more than enough inventory space. All right, so everything's kind of crammed at the moment, and there's probably no real need to do this this cramped but um i don't want to spend too much of this uh you know what i guess i could put the fluid duct below that shouldn't be an issue if i put the fluid duct below but yeah i don't want to waste too much resources actually routing other stuff so that's one thing i don't want to i want to try to avoid all right so there it is and then i could set up a torch of course, I put all my cobble away now. Jeez. Uh, there it is. Then I can just do this and then use my lever right there. Ha. All right, so it's getting lava. It's getting power. This guy's getting power. And it's going. Cool. All right, so this guy, what does it? Maximum power at 40 RF. All right, good. Because this guy, I believe, outputs 80. This guy can handle 80, so it's perfect for two machines, which is exactly what I need, which is kind of nice. Um, now, however, I need to have some kind of setup for this thing to go in round rub robin, I think it's the mode. I'm not sure if I'm going to need a pneumatic servo or not. Uh, we'll grab this and this, just in case, because I do have an extra servo there. Um, so I'm going to use that guy and this guy here and then get this guy like this and uh, ah mode dense vacuum round robin there it is all right cool uh, and then what I want to do is probably set up a chest above it and I think that might work for now it's just kind of like a test I'm trying to do to see if this is actually gonna work out or if I have to figure out some other way to do this uh, could probably go grab the iron chest I have over there with uh, the rest of the ores, but I'll do that later when I have to actually have a working system here. All right, so this is working. Um, probably need another lever here. I don't want to use the pneumatic servos if I don't need to. All right, so this is getting some, and this is getting some. It's Twelve. This got seventeen. Hmm. Eighteen four. You know what? All right. It's probably best if I remove everything, and then that way I can tell. There's one here. One here. Next one should be here. Come on. It's a bit slow. One there. Two there. Okay. So it's definitely alternating. Uh, I don't know if it's a f exactly fifty-fifty spread. Doesn't seem like it is because now this one has four. And this one has two. Um, now it's three, and this one's still four. So I don't know. It's a bit weird. I don't know how, how evenly distributed things are, but um, heck, I can uh, I can deal with a bit of randomness. All right. So input from this side, and then I can use where is the gravel? I just grabbed. All right. I got some gravel here. All right. So the issue with having that that uh, lever there however is that I need to route this leadstone conduit over here now so you know what I'm gonna have to use a pneumatic server here just because uh, space doesn't really permit it um, oops that's not what I want to do 
and uh, disable and ignore. Okay, so that should work again. Let's get some gravel up there, some gravel up here. Cool. Now, uh, leadstone, power this guy. And why are you not working? Why are you? Okay, there it is. It's working now. Alright, so this guy, it's. Why is it throttling down? Okay, it is throttling up, actually. Yeah, cool. Alright, so this guy is now making sand which is fine but I would rather have it converted directly into dust so I wonder if I should set up another uh, pulverizer if, to do that I should probably stop the recording and do that because I don't want to waste time uh, so I'm probably going to do that right now actually uh, and I'll be right back alrighty guys so um, I decided to go completely uh, wild and go ahead and try to finish everything here uh it was a bit tedious trying to figure out how exactly i wanted to do this um now as you guys can tell now i have uh, the other pulverizer i mentioned i was going to make uh and i went ahead and hooked it up now obviously i have an issue here now because uh i'm just producing enough power for two uh pulverizers now uh since it's not always this one's not always on uh, and this one also is not always on. I'm doing all right for power at the moment. Um, as you guys can see, the, the buffer here is, uh, they're all full. So I'm doing all right for power at the moment. Uh, now, if all three are constantly on, then that's where I'm expecting to have a little bit of issue with power. Uh, but at the moment, I'm completely out of redstone. Uh, got my inventory full of random stuff that I got from the chest I went to pick up. Uh, but yeah, uh, out of redstone completely. The, those few redstones I had left, uh, used them up with, uh, what did I use them up on? Well, I did make the other pulverizer, and I did make another pneumatic servo, so I guess that's where the redstone disappeared into. Uh, right, so pretty much the way it's laid out is the following. This guy, it's not set up properly. Yep, it's not set up properly at all. All right, so the top needs to be yellow. All right, so that way I'll put the the chance because the gravel has a chance of becoming dust directly. Uh, well, it gives you sand and the chance of giving you dust. Uh, if it does give you dust, it just goes directly into this autonomous activator, which almost has two stacks of dust already. Uh, and it skips this step, which is the, the step where it turns sand into dust. Uh, now, I don't believe it, there's uh, any other possibility other than making dust uh let me just double check that uh dust 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 oh man astral silver dust Jeez, what is that stuff um dust there it is all right so there's a chance it gives it to you when you pulverizing gravel and when you dust when you do sand there's no chance of giving you anything else so that's fine that's exactly how i expected it to behave which is great uh now obviously i have lots of dust here right now it's disabled and then this one should Actually, I haven't set this one up, uh, so I should probably do that. Uh, now, I need another pneumatic server for that one. I just don't have it. Uh, however, I believe I have one here. I'm just going to grab it because I need the pneumatic servo, and I have no more redstone. And I could just put the lever behind here. So uh, let me just do this. Uh, get it to dense vacuum. Dense vacuum. Okay, so I guess I have to do this one. Dense vacuum. Round robin. Okay. And then set up a lever here for this guy. All right. Oh, it powers this one too. All right. So that's, man, that's two for the <laughs> two, two things with one lever. That's great because, uh, oh, wait, but though I have to. Hmm. All right. Hold on. Uh, that's not working properly because I need to whitelist this guy to only yeah it took everything in I don't want it to do sand actually I want it to do gravel I don't want it to do sand so what I want to do here is set it to whitelist only gravel to go in there and then put in there now the reason why I'm going to keep the extra sand is because eventually I want to get some glass and I don't want to be doing it manually with a hammer trying to get sand so that's just like a little extra buffer of sand it just gets added here in this chest uh, and then it gets filtered to only have gravel going to the autonomous activator so let me just double check all right so there is just gravel in there cool um over here should be only dust 
and everything should be picked up by this vacuum hopper so I'm expecting this iron chest to be filled up really fast uh, however I have plans here to make some kind of way to dispose of uh, flint because I'm really really full of flint already I'm not sure this uh, actually, I actually haven't looked at my quest book at all during this episode so it's probably time to open it up uh, for the hoarding yeah I don't believe there's anything related to flint <laughs> if there was any kind of flint flint hoarding I would be pretty far ahead in that quest already um, so I'm expecting this vacuum hopper to pick up everything up from both the sieves so what I'm gonna do here is actually turn this guy on to ignore and this guy to ignore and then you step away so I don't grab any of this stuff that should be coming in and yeah there's I saw some amber um yeah, there's some amber in there. Alright, so maybe it's not fast enough to collect everything. Pulverize nickel. That might be an issue. Is it fast enough to collect everything? I might have to keep my eye on this. Uh, seems to be doing it right now. Um, but uh, it should hopefully not fill up. So I'm just going to put a couple of things in here. Some more gravel had laying around. Uh, now I do have uh, an extra vacuum hopper I could hook up uh, into here in case this is uh, too much for one vacuum hopper to deal with so I have to keep my eye on it uh, now obviously like I said this is already getting filled up rather fast but I already got two redstone which is great because this saves so much trouble for me um, you have no idea redstone is such a pain to get if you have to do it manually so having an automated system uh, it will require some maintenance. It's not perfect just yet. Um, however, it is getting the job done. Uh, this igneous extruder, I would like to know how. Look at that. It's just one igneous extruder is doing more than, uh, more than okay with all this usage of cobblestone. However, I'm going to keep my eye on this tank of lava. I don't expect one magmatic dynamo to be using that much. Um, but if it's the case, I have space here to ex expand my. Uh, lava creation. I got two more slots here that can easily add another cobblestone, uh, another crucible here on the sides and it should be an issue. If anything I could actually probably add a couple extra ones if I, if I expand that direction uh, but I don't expect it at this point, maybe later down the line, I don't expect at this point to be running into issues with lava. Uh, so yeah, I'm getting some glowstone stuff like that. Amber is another thing that I, I want to start getting rid of. Uh, flint uh, where's the other stuff? Uh, I think maybe bone meal now that I'm doing dusts might be something that I'm gonna start clogging up with. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It's rather compact, surprisingly. I expected this to be a rather large build uh, because this episode I was only intending to get uh, automate the whole process and getting the dust and the gravel. Um, but it's nice to actually got more done. I got you know even the sieving automated and routed and properly empowered everything. So, lots of progress. Obviously, I didn't turn in any quests uh, this episode, but um, I don't expect every episode to be able to turn in a quest. Sometimes you just have to prep up and uh, get some kind of process to uh, solve quests in the future. Obviously, with this system, I'm going to have plenty of resources. Now, next step will probably be to expand this platform in this area. Um, uh, expand my power... Uh, generation and uh, maybe get some other machines to actually automate the processing of these ores as well uh, now obviously the issue here is that I have to somehow um, combine these ores together uh, I don't believe you can use these directly I mean you can add them directly into a smeltery but that's not enough for a full ingot this will give you half an ingot you need two iron ores for a full ingot and uh, yeah, you can't do anything directly with it. Uh, now I was looking in the NEI, and uh, there's a there was a I believe it was called the Packer, or I'm gonna have to look it up. I used it in my last Let's Play, so maybe you guys can help me out in the comments or what it's called. But there was a, a block, uh, I forgot even from what mod it was, that would uh, combine like the nuggets that I was getting from the ore bushes. If you guys remember that episode, uh, where I used the, this block that would combine little pieces of nuggets into the ingot itself and I'm pretty sure that will be very useful in combining these ore uh, these broken ores into the actual ore block 
uh, which would be very, very, very useful at this point. Uh, I might have to upgrade this chest to a gold chest very soon. Uh, even though right now it looks like it's holding steady, but obviously Flint I already have over a stack, and I haven't, I mean, I've been rambling for what, uh, about eight minutes, I think, since I got this going. Um, and yeah, already a stack. Uh, however, I already have some redstone, which is the major issue here. Um, so I want to keep my eye on uh, how much uh, redstone I'm actually producing here. Why is this dust? Ah, uh, see, why is it doing this? Ah, that's an issue. That's a problem. I'm going to have to get myself another pneumatic servo. Because I had originally set this thing to whitelist only gravel. And since I removed that servo, that's going to be an issue now. Um, you know what? I have some redstone now. So I can go ahead and quickly make myself another pneumatic servo for that. I won't need a pneumatic servo in there after all. Uh, so I'll do that, guys. Uh, it's, you know, I don't need to actually stick around for that. But uh, I think it's a pretty good wrapping up point. I did expand this guy a little bit higher. Um, you know, the process or is a little bit easier. So I might continue doing it manually uh, for now. I still haven't done the, th the mob spawner thing. I just wanted to really automate the ore processing and then I can actually work on something else uh, and start getting some actual machines going once I have the ore processing automated. Uh, so, you know, keep an eye on that. I'll, I'll definitely be doing that once I get around to it. Uh, the room is finished, I think. I don't know, maybe I'll want to expand it a bit if it's too small. Obviously, uh, I won't know until I actually test it out. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure next episode I'll get around to doing that, uh, just that. So yeah, until next time guys, bye.